Today, uh, we're going to talk about everything that I've done. Uh, I've talked about my RO system, my RODI system that I've been building. Uh, this I built from scratch, uh, from the ground up. Everything on here was accumulated and put together, um, <clears throat> including some of the DIYs that I went over with on uh, YouTube. Um, here's my DIY pressure gauge. Um, it's all the whole system's almost ready to go. I'm actually probably about to use it in the next hour uh, just to get some water through it and install another pressure gauge on my incoming line. Uh, but here is my 200 micron pre filter before it goes into the booster pump. And as you can see, it's all wired in, ready to go. Sorry about the lighting, I'm in my fish room and it doesn't have the greatest lighting. Um, here's my flush kit that I built. Uh, it's just like the one that they sell bulk reef supply, but I had a bunch of these little Ys laying around. Originally I went with 90 degrees, but I decided to go with this because it's a little bit more streamlined looking. A uh, newer addition to it, I added this red line. It's drilled through the back and it's actually bypassed. Um, I don't know if you can see where that red line and the T is. It bypasses my DI. Uh, so I can have drinking water and also when I install a new membrane all the preservatives that come off of it um, Will filter off before it goes through my DI resin so it won't uh, Foul up the DI resin before it should um, usually if you don't let it uh, Bleed off that you're gonna deplenish uh, Your DI resin about five to ten percent I have a TDS monitor installed on my outline and I also have one going into my DI. So that will also tell me um, if my membrane, when my membrane is starting to not achieve its rejection rate. Uh, it is a 75 gallon per day. Um, I purchased a piggyback kit that I will be installing, um, not today, but soon enough to make it a 150 gallon per day unit um, all this stuff I got from aqua effects along with the new gauge that I will be installing and the booster pump uh, great company they're out of Altamont Springs Florida uh, which is right down the road from where I live I actually visited them uh, talked to Pete good guy uh, very knowledgeable when it comes down to um, RO water and uh, reverse osmosis and uh, just having clean water uh, but that's pretty much it. The trans my transformer I have mounted to my unit. This originally was going to be a hard plumb unit, but as you can see, I've built a wood frame around it, so I can actually it's mobile. I'm going to put a plate down here in the bottom, a wood plate, and mount wheels to it so I can wheel it around. But uh, pretty much today, I'm just going to be getting the system up. And running and getting everything down getting the TDS down uh, making sure our, I have no leaks um, and pretty much that's it uh, not gonna really be making any water uh, for my uh, tank today but other than that that's it I mean got my pressure switch hooked up so if I close my product line ball valve that the pump will shut off by itself. Uh, this is my source line. I'm not gonna need all that. I just bought enough just in case. Like I said, this is a DI bypass. Uh, I'm gonna leave this open for the first, I don't know, uh, two to three minutes to get that, uh, the purative, or um, preservatives off my membrane. And then from then on, I will close this and continue uh, to flush out and then eventually we'll turn that off and see what TDS I'm yielding but other than that that's it um, like I said I got the up uh, piggyback kit which comes with everything you're gonna need to plumb it you got two clips some tube three T's and uh, three nineties so you can uh, do everything you need to do to get your kit going and get the piggyback on. Appreciate it. I hope this was helpful. Just kind of wanted to show it off. Uh, any comments, criticism, whatever. Uh, definitely appreciate it. Have a good day.